Okay, the goal of this lesson is to talk about parallel lines. Uh, notice the title here says parallel or perpendicular. Today at home, you're just going to talk about parallel lines, uh, not perpendicular lines. We'll do that in class. Okay, so we've discussed parallel lines already. Um, and the main idea here that you have all kind of touched on is that parallel lines, since they say are parallel and never cross, they go up in the same direction, um, which means that their slopes are exactly the same. So notice these two lines are parallel. They have the exact same value for their slope. Um, the y-intercepts don't ma do doesn't particularly matter for parallel lines. Now, now think about this. This line, say, starts up here. This line is parallel and has a y-intercept down here. They can be parallel and have different y-intercepts. Um, so what we're going to be doing is is recognizing parallel lines. So let's let's look at a few different different ones here. Notice I have three different equations here. I want to know which of these are parallel or, or not. This one is in y equals mx plus b format. So then that's we've discussed this many times that this format is nice because I can identify the slope. And the slope here is two thirds. So if a line is parallel to that, it also has to have to have a slope of two thirds. So I this one is in that kind of uh, mix between standard form uh, or it's kind of standard form with the number on the other side. So what I would like to do is see if this line has a slope of two thirds, which means I'm going to convert it to the slope y-intercept form. Um, so I'm going to isolate for y. So I'm going to subtract two x to begin, and I'm left with three y equals negative 2x plus 6. And I'm going to divide everything here by 3 to isolate for y. And if I divide this by 3, I get negative 2 thirds x. And if I divide this by 3, I get 2. So this line has a slope of negative 2 thirds, which is not the same as 2 thirds. Notice this line slopes up because it's positive. This line is sloping down because it's negative. So these two are not parallel. Let's try this one over here. Uh, again, I'll subtract 3x on both sides, um, which gives me 2y equals negative 3x when I do that. And if I divide both sides by 2, I get y equals negative 3x over 2 or negative 3 over 2x. And again, that is not the same as positive 2 thirds, so this one is not parallel. Let's look at one more. Let's look at this one down here. Um, let's, let's take the same approach. Um, by isolating for y to see if the slope of this is 2 thirds. So I'll subtract 2x. So that leaves me with negative 3y subtract 4 equals negative 2x. I'm going to add 4 to both sides to isolate that. That leaves me with negative 3y equals negative 2x plus 4. Continuing over here, I'm going to divide everything by negative 3. So that gives me a y equals, and then negative 2x over 3 is positive 2 thirds x. And I'll, I'll take positive 4 and divide it by 3. It's going to give me negative because a positive divided by negative is a negative, and I'll have 4 thirds. So the slope of this line is 2 thirds, and the y-intercept is 4 thirds. But since the slope is 2 thirds, it is parallel to that first line we started with. So notice that first line and that ending line both have the same slope and therefore they're parallel.